Hello, good morning everybody. Hope everybody is fine, in good health, and we will have to start regarding bug technique. The community health nursing bag is usually used by the public health nurses who are employed by health service executive to provide a range of health care services in the community. It is based in local health center and are assigned to cover specific, specific geographical areas, provide services in schools, in health centers where we are going to go on duty, in daycare and other community centers and in people's homes. It provides basic nursing care as well as advice and assistance to their patients. Home visit. Usually, this was done by the community health nurse to contact the family and a professional contact made by the nurse with the patient or the family in their house to provide necessary health care and to further attain the objectives of the agency. Usually, home visits are being done by our community health nurses. And that will be one of the activities that you're going to do when you start your community health nursing. What are the purposes of home visit? To assess living condition of the family, give nursing care for the sick and postpartum. Usually, what kind of sickness are there? Maybe diabetic patients, hypertensive patients, and those mothers who just delivered, that is postpartum. Give health teachings. Establish close relationship between health agencies and the public. And make use of interreparal system. What kind of interreparal system? Wherein if you have assessed the patient, if there is something wrong with him, you can refer him to any hospital nearest the patient's house to promote utilization of community services also. Uh, so we will continue. I just removed my uh, mask. Huh? Cannot uh, talk too much. Okay? So, bag technique. We'll go to bag technique. It is a tool by which the nurse during her visit will enable her to perform a nursing procedure with ease and deftness to save time and effort with the end view of rendering effective nursing care to clients. So you now already know that you are using the bag for your visit, for your home visit to the patient during your community health nursing. Public health bag is an essential and indispensable equipment of a public health nurse which she has to carry along during her home visits. What are the principles of bag technique? Performing bag technique will minimize, if not prevent, the spread of any infection. It saves time and effort in the performance of nursing procedures. The bag technique should show the effectiveness of total care given to an individual or family. The bag technique can be performed in a variety of ways depending on the agency's policy, the home situation, or as long as principles of avoiding transfer of infection is always observed. Principles to consider in the use of the PHN bag. The bag should contain all necessary articles, supplies, and equipment which may be used to answer emergency needs. The bag and its contents should be cleaned as often as possible, supplies replaced, and ready for use at any time. So you have to check your bag every now and then before going to duty, before going to your community health nursing duty. It must contain everything inside your bag. So that you cannot, you cannot, for example, have to uh, borrow something from your classmates. You have to be ready for all supplies that you are going to put inside your community health nursing bag. 
The bag and its contents should be well protected from contact with any articles in the home of patients or clients. And one more thing that I want to emphasize on you, do not put any food inside your community health nursing bag. Is that okay? The arrangement of the contents of the bag should be the one most convenient to the user to facilitate efficiency and avoid confusion. Hand washing is done as frequently as the situation calls for, helps in minimizing or avoiding contamination of the bag and its contents. Especially nowadays with our pandemic, you must know that hand washing is the most important thing that a nurse must do. The bag when used for CD cases should be thoroughly cleansed and disinfected before keeping and reusing. So everything must be cleaned, must be cleaned and disinfect every time you use that in your clients or your patients during your home visit. Okay, what are the contents of the public health nurse? Oh, sorry. What are the contents of the public health bag? Front of the bag, left to right. It must contain thermometers in case, oral, axilla, and rectal. Nowadays, there's already a thermometer that is, uh, how do you, digital, uh, digital thermometer. And we are no longer using rectal. Can, are you still we? Are we still using rectal? That is for the baby who just was being delivered. Uh, first time that you wanted to use the rectal, it is the per the first time that you going to use the rectal is during the delivery of a baby, so that you will know if there is an opening of the anus. That is the usual uh, requirements for during delivery. Tape measure, adhesive plaster, cotton applicator. That would be in the front of bag, left to right. Next would be on the right rear of bag, right rear of bag, there would be medicine dropper, test tube and holder, and alcohol lamp. Usually, this uh, test tube and holder, and also alcohol lamp, they're being used to check on the urine, sugar of the patient but nowadays it's no longer used but at least you have to know the old school of the, the old school contents of a community health nursing bag on left rear of bag there should be medicine glass baby scale bandage scissor and rubber suction that is usually we use the rubber suction for those baby who is having some cough or having some uh, secretions in the mouth or in the nose. Back of bag, left to right. There would be 70% alcohol, betadine solution, hydrogen peroxide, teramycin ointment, spirit of ammonia, acetic acid, liquid soap, cotton in sterile water. Usually, this cotton and sterile water is being used for injection or immunization for a baby. This hydrogen peroxide, betadine, and teramycin ointment usually being used for, for wound cleaning. In the center of the bag, there must be two pairs of forceps, carbon straight, one surgical scissor, sterile dressing, OS or ghost and cotton balls, roller bandage, syringes, 1 milliliter, 3 milliliter, and 5 milliliter. Hypodermic needles must be gauge 19, 22, 23, and 25, sterile cord sterile cold, cord clamp and kidney basin. On the top pile, center of bag, there must be hand towel in plastic bag, soap in soap dish, apron, 
plastic or linen lining. The packet of bag must have surgical gloves, waste paper receptacle or cornucopia, and brown paper bag. Folded paper lining inserted between the flaps and cover of the bag and BP apparatus and stethoscope are carried separately. So that's all and I will perform the activities that we're going to use for the bag technique.